So, we're gonna watch all the Alien movies. I have only seen a couple of them and have been meaning to educate myself. And I thought, while I'm at it, why not drag my friends along for the horrifying ride? We have seven movies. Alien, Aliens, number two. Alien three. Resurrection on VHS, because that's the only thing I could find. I'm looking forward to that. AVP, AVP Requiem, which is actually Aliens vs. Predator. I'm really interested Requiem. to see how they made two Alien vs. Predator movies. And Prometheus, which I know isn't really an alien movie, but it is. it's my favorite. I have only seen the first Alien and Prometheus, which is the reason I want to watch the rest of them because I really like those two. But I understand it might get kind of crazy, especially once we get to the crossovers. Guys are all still asleep, so I guess I'm starting right away. No, I have him. See how this is. <laughs> and it begins with the classic, I'm excited. <laughs> Number one! It was really... Yeah, it, was business. it was... Every day. Everything I remember. I saw things I'll never forget. <laughs> Mining crew coming back to Earth. They get woken up halfway by home. Um, by the mother. By the mother. Stabbing mother. <laughs> is the ship. Because they're picking up this transmission. Yeah. Alright, don't forget the nipple protector. <laughs> oh, yes. Mother they're protectors for sent from the clock. They're very important in sleep stasis. If it weren't for the nipple protectors, what would they be? So they pick up this transmission from this gas giant, which they can apparently land on. John Hurt uh, investigates some sticky black eggs and gets uh, a face hugger to the face. Because he wasn't wearing his nipple protector. And the first rule in the manual, wear your nipple protectors <laughs> at all times. All times. Not that hard, John Hurt. They bring him back on the ship for some reason. Ooh, and no, Ripley says not to. But then the face hugger falls Ripley, off. Believe it or not. So he's all good until they're eating dinner and then a little maggot thing pops out of his stomach. It's not so little actually. Grows into a gigantic alien, picks off the crew one by one. Oh, and Ash is a robot. I figured the, out the, sci five the science. <laughs> we thought uh, he was Ash guy. Ketchum, but he's actually a robot. Bilbo was a robot. Bilbo, Bilbo. Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo the Pokemon trainer was a robot. They did not catch them all. In fact, they had to kill the only one they found. Wait, does that mean space is the elven lands or whatever they go to at the end of Lord of the Rings? <laughs> the cat gets mistaken for the alien a couple times, and then the alien gets mistaken for the cat. It's raining inside the ship for some reason, which is what kills the second guy. Once Ellen is alone, uh, everyone has died except her and Jonesy the cat. She uh, initiates yeah, Ellen, yeah, Ellen the self-destruct oh, system, then changes her mind and goes back to disable Eva. it. She's too late. Route. <laughs> and Charlie ate all my dad's cereal. How do we run out of this stuff? <laughs> hey, but we got Five, seven the most important. Bliss. Uh, oh my goodness, it's pink as well! <laughs> How am I supposed to get my magnesium? They get out in the escape pod and the alien follows them in the Don't escape the pod. Light. The cat goes to sleep. Ellen shoves it out the airlock, does her final report, and then gets in the pod with the with cat. With the cat. Going home and to Earth no in six problem. weeks is where we leave off the first movie. Why'd she go back to stop the countdown after she saw the alien? Yeah, I yeah. That I, seems like confirmation I should definitely well, blow the ship up. Yep. I like that we just had a nice little scene where it's sitting there yawning with the second round. That was oh, really yeah. odd, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, I feel like we got to good. see it. A dynamic. Exactly. We got to see it in its like, it was, natural habitat. It when it's not being threatened. Yeah. It made it a little more human. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> This is nice. <laughs> I don't want it. Maybe we have misjudged it. I have a skate pod. I have a naked woman in the closet. <laughs> yeah. You know, life, life is good. Is good. <laughs> Donald Trump dreams of having nights like this. <laughs> Can someone mention the fact that it didn't bust through that cat carrier when it had the yeah. 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 What is that made of? We should be making our helmets out of that. But no, that's it's... the question. Was it unable to or was it just extremely uninterested in the cat? Does the, does the alien just really like cats? Oh, well, maybe it has I mean, obviously it didn't kill it the whole time. The alien yeah. like yeah. a 90-year-old yeah. Maybe it was his friend. Maybe the cat befriended it and I, was trying to, That's why it was I would like the time. Like, guys, be nice oh, to this. Put it in the I would like a movie based around the cats and the aliens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Just that go would around, be delightful. Kill like a Milo and Otis type movie where like it kind of talks, but it doesn't really talk. It's more like a narration. <laughs> Alfred and Jones. Just like it, like kind of like riffing off of what's happening. Like oh, this alien, right? <laughs> See you guys. I'll try to be as quick as possible. Most importantly, wear your nipple protectors. <laughs> I'm a proud, independent woman. I don't need no nipple protectors. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> Number dos. This is the ride that we intended you to take. So enjoy it. Wait. <laughs> Was that a little kid on a big wheel? Did you watch The Shining before you made this movie? Oh, James Cameron, always taking your ideas from better movie makers. Certain special visual effects. What does that even mean? Just like one. How's your fiber? It tastes good. You're going to the Y soon. <laughs> My dad's gonna you guys ask be me okay. Why I ate all this fiber one? Where's all the pancake mix? <laughs> they bedazzled everything. Looks fabulous. Number two picks up seemingly right where number one left off. Turns out she has been drifting in space for 57 years. Her daughter has grown up and died. There's now a colony on this planet where uh, they found the aliens. This gas giant. This gas giant. They're now colonized. <laughs> because they've been terraforming and suddenly all communication with this place goes silent and so they decide to send a bunch of marines to figure out what's going on, and they convince Ripley to go with them. There's a lot of aliens, and there's a little girl named Newt. <laughs> that they find in the trash. In the trash. There's a very interesting fellow named Hudson who didn't die nearly early enough. <laughs> Hudson was just kind of a really dumb Marine. Oh, okay. He was always messing stuff up and uh, freaking out. Game over, man! <laughs> Game over! I'm just screwing around! The writing in general was just, you could tell Wonderful. You could tell it was James Cameron. He does good movies. Not, you should. He, he doesn't write well. Here's the thing, he doesn't write realistically. No. But it's, it's so much more fun when he writes. Like I was saying, it was... like, the dialogue in Alien was realistic, but it was also really boring, and we talked over most of it and still didn't miss anything, because the dialogue didn't matter. It's true, it yes. It was just people saying stuff. Whereas in this one, the dialogue was worth listening to, because it was funny, and it was interesting, and it wasn't realistic, but it was at least good to listen to. It wasn't any more important, though. It, it wasn't, but it was more entertaining. Okay, to some. I personally, when the characters are literally just caricatures, like, taken to the extreme, I don't enjoy that. I like the blandness of the first one, in all honesty. Extreme! This one was a lot less scary and a lot more action y. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna a be lot a trend. Of blowing up and running. Right, with and that. <laughs> what happened at the end? What happens is they go into the main colony because it's blowing up mm -hmm. the atmosphere enhancement thing. The aliens already blew up one of their ships because their pilot was flying back to get them and then she turned around and there was an alien and she tried to shoot it, but that didn't work. Oh. And she crashed and blew up the ship and blew up their tank and almost blew them up. Because she's bad at her job. No, she was <laughs> awesome. She, <laughs> she was She dead. was awesome. She died really bad. She, yes, she, but she was, like, on top of it. She wasn't, like, screamy lady in the last True. Yeah. She True. was totally, like, reading I'll give her that she was collected. Up. She was just very collected at being bad. Bishop, the robot man, uh, ran off to go pilot the other shuttle down from the big ship mm. by hand. Because he was the only one with the balls enough to say, okay, I'm gonna go out there if it's our only shot at getting off this godforsaken map. Yeah. Do robots have balls? Do they, like, do they build that in? I would have Apparently, I, would yeah. I mean, yeah. Hudson was whining, man. Hicks wasn't doing anything, and Ripley was just May I have Ripley. testicles? <laughs> <laughs> it's an option. Yeah, exactly, a testicle yeah. upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> like a CD player in your car. Right. <laughs> but they built a bunch of turrets out of nowhere. They, just, they find turrets, I guess. Yeah. They had turrets the whole time. And they quarter Hudson, themselves Hudson off from Hudson is very, the very focused on just how much ammo each one has at any given moment. Yeah. They do have guns. They do kill them this time, right? Oh, uh, yeah. They kill a bunch I of... I was like, re, re ingratiated dozens. with Vasquez, though. She pulled her own. Yeah, Vasquez she was made an awesome for her ridiculous dialogue. She had, like, three lines. Yeah, but it was all total crap. Either. I may borrow I like this one. Oh, no. Eight of ten. They escape, and they get to the shuttle, okay, but did you, they did you, did you point out the fact that the child was under the grate. Yeah, that's what I was The to. alien was right on top of her, and, so, and somehow she still made it out alive. See, there's so much stupidity leading up to that, though, where they climb through this vent, 
Mm -hmm. Child falls down some kind of weird Ferris wheel thing <laughs> in the vent, goes through the ventilation system and ends up in what I'm guessing is a sewer that is just an open sewer running through the ship. Right. And into the and ventilation system. Yeah. Into the, now, who designed that? <laughs> then they go and look through the grate and there's a child who's like, don't move. And they're like, okay. Like, there's a bunch of aliens coming. They're on the motion tracker. A ton of them. A and ton. they just disappear just as soon not. as they have the little girl. <laughs> they just pop up. One pops up and looks at her. She screams. They cut through the grate and look down and she's gone. Even though they were just looking right at her and they are so shocked. <laughs> like, where did she go? Ellen is like in hysterics. And then they make it back to the ship. Meanwhile, Hicks getting all acidy from one alien who tried to get in the elevator with them. Yeah. They get there, and Ellen goes back to get the girl. She takes a flamethrower to a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Take, hey, it's an improvement from last time. Okay. <laughs> she tapes them together and is using them effectively. The patrol is exploding, lightning. There's lightning everywhere. There's <laughs> gas plant. It's, it's hilarious to watch. I'm confused. Why did they colonize this place if they knew there were aliens? They no, they didn't. They, they did. Oh. No, they did. The company knows the aliens are there, and they keep wanting to bioweaponize oh, right. the aliens because yeah, they they're assholes. Yeah, the first time uh -huh. they were meant to go there, and the second time I guess they kept it under wraps again Yeah. in order to find these things and bring them back to Earth, which is their plan. Because she confronts the lawyer dude, he told the colonists to go Wayland, to the what's the Wayland Yutani. Wayland Yutani. Oh, oh we yeah. met the company yet at all? We have. Just, okay. The, we yeah, met the her, company. The Bert. original guy, the lawyer, her friend, uh, turned out to be the guy who was trying to smuggle the them. ashes. Yes. Oh man, we, we skipped over his like biggest, well, I mean, I guess killing 157 people was a big issue yes. back then. But, but still, Ripley goes and snuggles up with the little girl to keep her safe while she's sleeping. And for some reason, they're sleeping in the specimen lab with a bunch of the frozen head crab thing, the right. face suckers. He sneaks in there while they're sleeping, steals her gun, opens up the cages on these things, and locks them in because he wants them to get face huggered and then freeze them and then kill the rest of the crew and send them back. Just like unmitigatedly evil. That was a pretty cool sequence, though. The other guy, like she, she lit her lighter to oh, yeah. spark the uh, smoke alarm mm -hmm. so that they would run in because nobody else could see what was going on. Right. He shot off the security camera. They, yeah, and they busted in through the window. Glass window. Shot that a couple was of face a window, but... Yeah. <laughs> and then at the very end, they take a wrong turn trying to get out because she finds the little girl who is, I mean, amazingly not just, dead. Just fine. Just fine. About to get face huggered, and she shoots the face hugger, and then they take a wrong turn into the queen's den where she is there laying eggs. Uh, and they have to they have this uh, they have this standoff see. for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, them looking at each other and her randomly blasting fire at nothing. And nothing. Just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and then after she's out of the egg nest, she goes, decides. Eh. Yeah, sets the whole thing on fire. Which Where doesn't face the queen. The queen simply ejects out of her uterus <laughs> that she is currently using, and just like nothing. Wait, it's at like a all. detachable uterus. Yes. Yes. She, she who is like twice as fast as all her cronies goes after these two. All right. And uh, it looks like the ship took off without them, but it didn't, and they make it. And then the oh, and then the queen is uh, like hiding, hiding in a pod on the, the ship. outside of the ship. Mm -hmm. Just you know, half tears the, the ship in ship. half, and right. then Ripley runs off and gets the big mech suit. And they fight. That was awesome. That was cool. Seen, yeah, I, Ellen the only thing I've ever the, seen of the alien movie in is the that mech, mech suit, suit. Yeah. battling this like T Rex of an alien queen. That was pretty cool. But then, but then they, they do the air dock. Yeah. <laughs> just... Tell them about that. Okay, so we've got the. The queen and the mech suit at the bottom of the airlock. Mm -hmm. And Ripley's climbing a ladder up while the queen struggles under it. Right. She opens the airlock, which is like, what, at least 20 by 20. Yeah. It's huge. Massive. Into open vacuum of space and holds on, screaming to a ladder and resists the tug of an absolute vacuum. Right outside of it. Just like not even a room away. Yeah. Just inside the airlock. And then she climbs. Up. She climbs she a ladder. Climbs up. Who is this 
woman, why is she like a minor? Why isn't she an Olympian athlete? She could win everything. The little girl even resists the vacuum of space and right. holds on yes. to a grate. Well, no. No, no, she, Bishop she, grabs her. She grabs the top half of the robot, who's been ripped in half by the queen. Alien uh, cubed. Uh, My favorite. I it's loved it. Very, like very too. good. Excellent movie. Way yeah. better than the one before. I didn't see the second before. one, but that's my favorite. Way better than the second one. I don't know. I've heard people give this one a lot of crap, but really? honestly, I liked it. Better than the other two. Definitely the best director. Yeah. yeah. Cinematically, it was definitely the best. See, now that's the most of any of the movies I've ever seen. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't properly oh, introduce anybody. But. Ian and Wesley and Eric just got yeah. here. This one started at the end of the last one pretty much straight off. Mm -hmm. uh, then they were in cryosleep. Uh, Bishop, Newt, and Hicks, and Ripley, and then they crashed into this prison planet. We're not really sure what caused the crash, because there was some sort of fire, but Bishop wasn't able to tell her but what started. But obviously there was a face hugger on the ship, yeah, so somewhere. that, that, that yeah. may have had something to do with it. She does find out later that it was on the ship the whole time. Yeah, we have some kind of, she said it was an alien she'd never seen before, so maybe some kind of new strand. Uh, I missed never, that part. Yeah, she never encountered anything like it before. They crash in the ocean, Newt drowns, Bishop gets blown to bits, Hicks gets impaled, all of them die off screen, which was kind of disappointing, honestly. Mm -hmm. But she wakes up in a med bay, they tell her that they saved her, all her friends are dead. It's an ex uh, correctional planet yeah. for just guys. A YY um, -Y chromosome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Double Y Jones. chromosome correctional facility is how they put it. And there's only a couple people left as uh, custodians because they wanted to stay because of their new religion. Yeah, they, they Something... started basically a big old cult on yes. the planet. Yes. The three main authority figures are the warden, who's the main custodian, uh, the preacher, who runs the religion, and Charles Dance, who secretly runs everything, at least in my mind, <laughs> because he's the best. Right. He was the he doctor. Was the doctor. Tywin Lannister. Beautiful. Uh, he was a kind soul. See, the thing was, we weren't sure if he was, though. Yeah, we, he's we were all like, he's going to be a bad guy. He and Ripley he, did the Or he's going to be a robot. robot. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was going to be a robot. I was sure he was going to be a robot. But then an alien impaled a skull, so that definitely wasn't true. Not before he <clears throat> and Ripley have a tight thing going. <laughs> they banged. Yes, yes. We're but, dancing around af it, but they, after that, they did the nest. Intercourse yeah. happened. He was a really good guy. He was, and it was terrible to see him go. Because he was very disappointed. Explore the whole place and yes. try and figure out what's going on with the alien. Yeah. The alien kills a few people. Honestly, the, the terror was way back up from the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one went kind of the zombie horde approach, which I don't think worked very well for no. the aliens. No. No. So mm -hmm. our uh, resurrection VHS is broken. So I had to finagle an online version of Resurrection. So we're gonna watch that. What? What? Written by Joss Whedon. Whoa. Okay. All right. Our minds just got blown. So I think we're gonna see a very different alien from you guys. The question is, is this Firefly Joss Whedon or Buffy Joss Whedon? Yay. <laughs> you finally it's reached your dream. Yes. <laughs> She's finally naked! <laughs> Completely naked and bald. Are they just cloning her over and over again and then cutting her open to see if there's an alien baby? Cloning somebody doesn't give you all the parasites that it had. Come on, that's not science. How many, that's not sciences, are we up to this Yeah. so far? Identification, please. Please try again. Thank you. Yeah. Refalizer identification. It's so edgy, hey, my identification is inside. <laughs> <laughs> you get to see Firefly versus Good. aliens. <laughs> Don't push me to call. It's not going to for a while, you'll find out I am not the man with whom to Well, that got oddly formal. Yes. <laughs> How do you get from monkey sounds to I am not, not the man with whom to f***? Special. Eva! What happened? They're human sacrificing people to egg. To hit Look at Guys. Guys. Yeah, no kidding. Guys. Oh no, they're waking up. And he's smiling. You've got a problem. So we just did Alien Resurrection, which was the fourth movie. 
in the Alien series. Basically, they decided to clone Ripley for science reasons and for stupid government reasons. And it's revealed later on that she's the eighth try of this cloning, and they have seven others that are just aw just awful. Terrible, terrible. Just terrible things that we don't speak of. And she burns those. There's a like a team of well, basically the team from Firefly. Can we just clarify real quick? This is written by Joss Whedon, so as you can guess, it's Firefly. With aliens, aliens, which it's was not a bad also thing by Buffy Joss Whedon, because it's all weird fanfic and fetish. Yes, it's, it's weird. very fanfic. Weird. This was is the fan fiction of Southern this James, so James Franco was blowing on a lady's feet, and uh, Southern James ben Franco, too good. For Ripples was almost <laughs> making out with her child. So basically, the Firefly team. Malcolm Reynolds, we'll just call him Matt. He <laughs> no, comes Southern in with James the, Franco. Southern, Southern James, James Franco, Franco comes in. Honor his sacrifice. And, he's, and Wesley loves him the most. But I love him we didn't, the most. We didn't feel in this that bad for his sacrifice. So they all come in and they're like being hired to smuggle things somewhere. I wasn't really clear on but that. But Winona Ryder, 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 Ryder was there. Winona she was, Ryder is smuggling herself in with the smugglers. Yeah, it turns out she's, she's a robot. Because she was Ooh. a discontinued line of robot that she learned, she like hacked into the mainframe of this company. Company and discovered all the terrible crap that they've done and decided to wage war on them after she got away. There was a, a Jamaican guy, he had uh, guns that came out of his arms, but he died. Um, and there was a guy in a wheelchair that Wesley hated, and there was Southern James Franco, and those were the really only ones that mattered. Uh, except for the guy, there was a guy with glasses who had a, oh, yes. a thing in his chest, and they knew it, but they wouldn't kill him, and they, they wouldn't kill brought him, him with them. For some reason, anyways. they just decided, and let's not kill this one. Oh, and the, the worst part, like, the part where I was the most scared was when they had people, like, chained up, and they had, like, eggs right there in their face, this so they would get head This company was... Sacrificing mm. humans to the face grabbers. Yes, yeah. yeah. just so they could have more xenomorphs. Because after Money. literally hundreds of years of this, they haven't learned their lesson. It's been 200 years. Yeah. Since, since just since Ripley died. Since she died. What? Right, Since yeah. the original Ripley died. Oh, and Ripley, Ripples has superpowers in this one. Oh yeah, because, because, because the spliced. cloning process uh, gave her, her alien yeah. blood. And now her blood is acid, and she's uh, super strong, strong super as heck. Strong. She and she can sense, sense their presence and all that. Mm -hmm. And so. it makes her wig out and start it does make dancing her wig on and the it, floor. And she's super good at basketball. Appa yeah. Hey. And apparently, hey. her, she's a her DNA was used in every single <laughs> version of these experiments that they did. So ultimately, this queen uh, gave like, birth to a mm -hmm. giant alien. Basically, Ripley crossover right. thing. Ripples and the Queen had a baby together. That's the ultimate fanfic. It was weird. And they almost made out. Right. Yeah, they did almost make out. We found out Several that times. Winona Ryder was a robot, and it was really cool, and uh, Ron, Ron, Perlman, an Ron Perlman was in it, and he kissed the uh, the wheelchair guy. Yeah, that was, cool. that was the one good thing the wheelchair guy had. Right. And Ron Perlman <laughs> making out. Disagree. And, and then she, she sucked her, her child out um, into the vacuum of space. Yeah. The space, 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 space liquidated her alien child. And it was really touching, like, literally, actually. It was hit her his face, like the skull, and then it liquidated out. Yeah. Yeah, that was... But she felt so bad about she it. She felt that was really bad. He was crying. He was incredibly hurt. Because they loved each other. Because they, they loved each other. They did really love each other. But yeah. both yeah. It was like Toy Story, and guys. So was it was she, exactly like Toy so Story. So was she. Oh, they destroyed yeah. Paris. I know. Oh, they did destroy yeah. Paris. Which was just kind of a throwaway thing at the end. Yeah. Hey, we destroyed Paris. <laughs> Sorry. So there was a ship orbiting <laughs> Earth, and they decided to crash it into Earth to kill all the xenomorphs, because obviously that's going to kill them all, and they're not going to spread around Earth. New faces. You saw Charlie earlier. This is Laurel. Zach? Oh, there you go. I don't exist. <laughs> this is Zach who just got here. I am not here. This is Josh. Alien Josh, see how this goes. versus Predator. Okay, so I think we've all agreed that this is pretty fantastic. Yeah, that was awesome. The first half hour is totally bunk. Like, there is no, they try to set this up with a backstory involving people to make it more relatable. It's just absolute crap. But then we actually get to the title, Alien vs. Predator, 
throwdown, and it's just like, dude, leave the people out of this. We don't need them. You don't them. need them at all. And the only time a person becomes likable is when she picks up an alien skull. Yeah. And starts okay. Fighting. So the our final girl, I don't remember her name. Alexa Wood. She. Andrea. Um, Andrea. Oh, Alexa. We we dubbed her oh, Andrea. Cool. She befriends the predator, and uh, they go around. Slap him some alien, and it's the greatest thing. He gives her the the exoskeleton of one of the aliens to be a shield, and makes her this spear, and it's totally ba. It's fantastic. I loved it. No plot whatsoever, except for the fact that Wayland found this. This is a present day one, and uh, present day Wayland found this underground uh, Mayan temple in Antarctica. Um, that the predators left there after they destroyed everything, after they accidentally made an alien infestation on Earth, uh, acting as gods. Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Any clearance whatsoever. I know it's a present. No, we're all out for that. It's like, um, why did you know it's I'm pretty sure that's the worst movie I've ever seen. Yeah, 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 that was up there. I want to start this off with a clean. If you haven't seen this movie, don't see this movie. Don't do it. You're, you're better than that. I don't know you, but I feel like you have to be better than this. We, as a species, to survive, have to be better than this. I am telling you now, as yes. someone who has witnessed the horror, just don't. Yes. No, I, I, I don't hear you back. in two sentences to describe the entire movie. It's the events of the entire movie? <laughs> Nameless people die. <laughs> there are sometimes aliens. We watch this so you don't have to. <laughs> you're welcome. So aliens uh, on the Predator ship make it crash onto Earth. Um, yeah. they, they <laughs> infects a little boy and his dad, Not who cool. get popped out of. Um, the initial uh, Predalien, as we dubbed it, popped out of a predator at the beginning, and it's both of them somehow. Yeah, somehow. And, Never explained. Um, teenagers, uh, skinny dipping, and <laughs> fights, and pizza delivery, and... Um, <gasps> This legitimately has no plot. I watch it's it's everywhere. everywhere. It is literally <laughs> everywhere. Per they uh, don't Predator know what's has, has no idea what he's doing, even. He just kind of shows up at places where yeah. the Predalien was yeah. at some point. Uh, There's no were lost yeah. and found. Time seems to shift on a whim. Yeah. Like, a kid loses his keys yeah. in the daytime and then waits till midnight yeah. blackout to go hunting in the sewer. Predalien <laughs> invades a hospital and infects three pregnant women yeah, he, in he, labor and with aliens. And very ambiguous, but and I'm pretty sure right. babies too. And Babies. This is not the normal thing where for most of the movie they zoom in on someone getting attacked and then later we see chest bursters. It goes in close, he shoves his tiny mouth down their throats and starts pumping eggs in and we have to watch yeah. the whole time as they slide down their throats <laughs> and then they, they take a long close up on the womb jiggling wait, wait, a bunch of little burster babies. And Granted though, this was the unrated version. There were no boundaries here. The <laughs> Only black guy gets killed within the first 15 minutes. Yeah. Them, Babies the are infected. Hey, hey, Children in have have face suckers. In their defense, the sheriff guy was kind of black. <laughs> Today we discovered Tim is racist. <laughs> I said in their defense. <laughs> Why are you defending him? I love the Brother Strauss. The Brother Strauss do not love you. This movie takes its time to break every single rule of the Aliens franchise has established up to that point. Even and more. Every rule of the Predator franchise yeah. is established. Uh -huh, Even just the rules good. the Aliens vs. Predator franchise established. <laughs> In the first movie, it is, if there is one thing it is, it is thorough in its commitment to defile everything that would make you want to watch it. <laughs> the one before this was excellent. It was, really. In terms of good. fight scenes. Just yeah. Fun. Okay. Yeah. It, was, it was like watching a movie framed around an episode of Death Battle. Like, that was all it was. That, <laughs> that was, was all good. it needed to be. They didn't need the plot around it. I didn't and they understood that. Yeah. They, they, they understood got through the fact it. that the people were marginal and that they weren't necessary for... This kind of crossover thing. Yeah. This one, it's it's just, it is a typical horror movie. How about with all the things you would find? Emails to every single person that shows up yep. in your credit. <laughs> their okay. punishment is having their names already plastered. Yeah. 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 I feel like right this movie has done enough to them. Yeah. What must it be like to look back on your career? Uh, how many of these people went on to have more movies? The Brother Strauss. None. Have, like, they've done one. They're all in high school. <laughs> Skyline. 
I would like, like to I would like to point out that uh, I have scoured many video stores looking for all of these videos, and the one that every place had was this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't Nobody would buy it. it. <laughs> People of all beliefs and creeds and walks of life can agree on one thing: the fact that this is the most prominent Alien vs. Predator movie, the fact most prominent Aliens movie, yeah. is a sign that we have taken a turn as a society yes. that we cannot get back from. <laughs> Which goes back to your uh, theory that this is a social commentary in the first place. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I think I don't know of this movie. I don't know about that anymore. Commenting on the problem? This movie is the problem. Yeah, you know the worst part is, uh, after, that, after that first Alien vs. Predator, I was excited for this movie. I know. Yeah, yeah. me too. It took I that excitement, like, shoved it down my throat, and popped out my chest. <laughs> I've heard really bad things about Resurrection and about AVP1. And I thought, you know what? Those were fun. They weren't they were, great movies, they were definitely but they were fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah. So this is probably just going to be more dumb fun. It was just dumb. There you have it. <laughs> Don't see it. It's time for Prometheus, guys. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. We've come full circle. Ridley Scott has returned to us. And he redeemed everything. And everything's okay. Idris Elba was the best part. He was the, the captain. He just fled the ship. But he didn't. He was a sane voice. And you know, in general, the attitude of the protagonists was very selfless in this movie. Yeah. Compared to most of the others who were trying to like save themselves or get back home or whatever. Except like most of these people are like understand but except for the bad guys. Right. Understanding of the fact that this is a huge deal and we can't have any of this spreading this bags for saving us. It's basically a direct prequel to Alien as far as they go to this planet uh, and find out. The people who made humans uh, also made all these uh, other terrible things for warfare and uh, they kind of turned on them. For some reason they wanted to destroy Earth. Or for some yeah. reason they decided that humans, they had enough of humans, so they were about to send all these destroyed. terrible things to Earth. And uh, that's basically the whole thing, <laughs> but it's still, like, the best. <laughs> amazing acting, amazing cinematography, oh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely beautiful, uh, really good screenplay. I just love this movie. There's a reason that he doesn't call it an alien movie, because it, its focus is very different, and there's a lot of other things in here yeah, besides like, this. I wasn't disappointed at all that they didn't answer the questions, because there's so many more movies, and thank goodness. Like, Yay! this series to end. No. I'm very excited for the second one of these. Oh, I am too, now that I actually know things about the alien yeah. universe. I'll Let's each say our favorites of the ones we saw. I would say this is my favorite. This. Yeah. Either, either this one or the first one. But three, we've all decided, was very good as well. I really liked four. Really four really was like good. Four. I didn't like the ending four, of four. The whole like human alien thing was kind of yeah. weird. Four so. was very Joss Whedon and very fanfic, but it was also a, a good movie in its mm -hmm. own right. It was, it was, it was standalone, so. So I'd probably have to say a tie between Prome er, Prometheus and Four. Really? Yeah, I really okay. like Prometheus. Charlie? AVP 2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. And I, I forgot to say, AVP 2 was my favorite. It was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my other favorite favor one would be uh, probably the first one. First the first one? one? Yep. Had you seen the first one? Uh-uh. Sigourney Weaver, just... Yeah. Yeah. Sigourney. And I, I did kind of like the... Well, I didn't necessarily like it, but the whole, like, her and the aliens becoming one. Mm -hmm. And, like... Yeah, that's what I liked The whole about. fulfillment of the whole... That's what I liked It was kind of cheesy, They but... brought her back, but they brought her back in a cool way. She was, like... A very fanfic way. Uh, <laughs> I think the first one was good, like in its originality, mm -hmm. and then yeah. AVP one was good for like the action film. Yeah, it totally. was. Like, yeah. It was really good. I really liked AVP one. I'd watch that one again. I'd I'd watch AVP. I would fast again. forward through the boring parts. <laughs> yeah, first, through the first, half, first thirty like, minutes. First half hour. Yeah. yeah. I'd fast forward until they got into that temple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And oh. then I'd watch it from there, cause like you need a little bit of suspense before the action starts, but not that much. Not that much. <laughs> well, how much were you here for? 
Just the last three. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she says as her eye twitches. <laughs> which which did Just you the last prefer? <laughs> uh, definitely Prometheus. Yeah, I don't think there's a question there. Yeah. I've seen like uh, the first. I think I want to say the first two aliens. Okay. And so I think it's for me it's still a tie. It's a tie between now I've seen Prometheus between that and the very first one. Uh -huh. I like the first one and the third one as far as world building and really really this one. Mm -hmm. See that's what I felt like honestly like I loved two three and four. What I didn't feel like they had was the world building stuff like I wanted to know more about the Xenomorphs yeah. and like why what what the heck they came from. This was mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you guys. You're I welcome. really didn't think anyone would stay this late but this is fabulous. <laughs>